I'm Ricky Gervais, coming up on today's show, Radiohead, Pulp, Oasis, Blur, Nirvana, Jesus and Mary Chain, Puff Daddy, The Smiths, Faith No More, The Cure, and uh, kicking off with this little ditty. Can you dig it? On XFM 104.9, I'm Ricky Gervais, with me Steve. Do you remember that one? It's a classic, Gervais. Lovely, isn't it? I used to play that when I used to run a mobile disco. <laughs> <laughs> wrong with that? Did that's, you really? a, that's a great way to get into radio. Yeah. You run yourself a mobile disco or, you know, get involved with hospital radio. Yeah, and the ladies come along and see the flashing lights and the big tunes and see you and... Go home. Yeah. Yeah. With the bloke. With, normally with a fella. A human. But, uh, yeah, anyway. Well, coming up to today's show, as I said, we've got all, all the, the greatest hits of, uh... The greatest indie. hits? No, you see... No, you, that is what you said. Now, I was going to say that there'd be no swearing on today's show. That's there was a lot. No, there's there's going to be none at all. No profanity or filth or anything like that on today's show. What? There was too much last week, and it's got to be stopped. Seriously. What the boss was it? Is he being nobbling you? No, higher authority than him. <laughs> really? Yeah. What the uh, radio authority? No. I tell you, I, the reason is because you just pushing it. Last no, I'm not surprised. It was my mum. I got to stop swearing. <laughs> what? Well, it was her birthday, and I phoned her in the week. And she launched straight into it. I was uh, well. Listen, listen to this. You you taped your mum. Yeah, listen. <laughs> yep. Happy birthday. Oh, do you know you don't have to go far on your radio, don't you? What? Your language, my son. What? Well, arse and piss and see. I didn't. I didn't say. It. Yeah, no. It's all bleeps out. It's all electronically uh, cleaned yeah, up. Yeah, I know. You take it steady. I didn't bring you up that way. <laughs> yeah, well, I got it from you. You used to F and C all over the place when I was no, little. No, I didn't. Well, you used to, you used to come in with yeah. a bottle of gin in one hand and a cigar in the other. You lying git. Yeah, no. You, from your bingo, right? You used to come in with a vicar. Yeah. Nicky Sherry used to come in, F in and blind in. You know, I'm five years old. How am I meant to be? You lying toad. <laughs> Toad. How old are you? Seventy-three. Seventy-three. And I used to correct you in every way you spoke. Yeah. You didn't learn a lot. You got a real old Berkshire accent. <laughs> well, yeah, I wonder where that came from. And that other bloke, tell him your handle is Ricky. Why? What's the matter? And it's not your vase, it's your bay. <laughs> so correct him when he's on the radio. <laughs> yeah. Your handle is Ricky. Yeah, do you want to do you want to give him a message? Because I'm taping this. Oh, you ain't. Yeah. <laughs> he said, "Do you want to give him a message?" Because I'm taping. Nine. Well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Pathetic. What? Gervais. Oh, I've got to be Ricky Gervais. My mummy says it's got to be Ricky Gervais. You don't want to get on the wrong side of her. Don't call me Gervais anymore. It's Ricky Gervais. You, honestly, you don't want to wind her up. What's, I want all that nonsense about handle. Your handle is Ricky Gervais. What little handle? What's she talking she about? She was into CB, wasn't she? <laughs> what? Yeah. She was not, what, not younger then. She was about 60. Right. When it was at it its it was peak. And uh, she used to go around, you know, things like that. I'm in the land of the brain bottles. I'll be at eye by eye pregnant roller skate, you know, all that sort of stuff. I don't know what she was talking about. We were talking about in the pub. Right. She used to have a gang. <laughs> your mum? Yeah. Yeah, they used to have, uh, they're called the backyardies. <laughs> they used to come out and, uh, you know, be in the garden. Right. You know, doing a bit of gardening and talking yeah. about crazy paving. <laughs> right. <laughs> hey, help me with that rockery, Lil Chill. That was Lil Chill. Yeah, it was next door. Her name was Lil. And she, you know, she <laughs> married Mr. Chill. So she was, uh, Lil Chill. <laughs> Yeah, you honestly, you don't want to wind her up. We've got an ad break, then Radiohead, and then the second half of the call. It gets no, you know why I'm scared of her after this. Excellent. Yeah, I, I was funny because right, I was in Crowley's show earlier. Gary Crowley, have you heard of Gary Crowley? Oh, I don't know whether I have or not. Gary Crowley's a DJ. Oh. You better say yes, you are, because he's going yeah, to listen to this. Yeah, him. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what do you What do you think of him? Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But listen, we've taped all your last three weeks. I'm just going to send her to Larry today. Yeah. For him to hear. Good. You go careful. You do not go near the bone. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you can't wait. You're, you don't believe I'm going to play this, do you? <laughs> not if there's any swearing on there, you better not. Well, you, we, we, you wouldn't swear, would you? No. You would, I no. never taught you to swear anyway. <laughs> I used to correct you in everything you said and done. Yeah. Even to the teas in the water. You water. remember? And the teas in you've, the butter. You've never had water. 
No. Unless it's mixed in with beer. No. Uh, remember when you taught me to do the dustman's blow when you hold one nostril and blow it all out the others? You filthy animal! <laughs> <laughs> That's you taught me that! I did not! You used to come in and you used to, if I was naughty, you used to gob at me. Ian, you know, I'm talking filthy. <laughs> you know I couldn't do that because things like that makes me sick anyway. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't wait to play this on Sunday. No, and I won't wait to get up there and get you. Um, do, do as I then, say... Ricky Gervais is my son on XFM. Ricky Gervais is my son on XFM. 104.9. 104.9? Yeah. That's I it. I think that's a nice Berkshire accent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, OK, then, 73. Yeah, don't tell everybody. They He's... all want to join in. Yeah. Um, all right, then. Well, I'll, um... Right. 73. And you go careful what you're saying. All right, then. Right. See you later. Cheerio. Bye. So, no swearing, Steve, yeah? You're, I can't believe you're scared of your I'm mum. I'm not scared of my mum. You're mom. scared of your mum. And you said I was drinking last night on the show. Last time. I wasn't. No, you were, well, you were, might not have been drinking. You were smoking. Oh, she knows I don't smoke. Well, no, she knows you don't smoke cigarettes. Don't. You don't know her, Steve. Hey, and what about the, uh, does she know about the steroids? <laughs> hey, I mean, how do you explain that physique when you go around to see her? She just thinks I work out a lot. Well, I j it just seems to me, Gervais, that, you know, no swearing on the Ricky Gervais show. I mean, that's what's made our name. That's yeah. our bread and butter. Yeah. I mean... Butter, it is. There's two T's in butter. It just seems to me, Gervais, that you're, you're compromising the show. I, well, you're I wouldn't, compromising the I show. I wouldn't compromise the show just when my mum's listening. It's Kelly Rogers. <laughs> On XFM 104.9. Beautiful, Gervais. Are yeah. there any reasons, Gervais, for people to stay tuned? Gervais, I should say. Any reasons? Leave for, it. Any reasons? You for don't know her. Well, any reasons, Gervais, for people to <laughs> <laughs> for people to stay tuned to the show? What apart from Jesus and Mary Chain, Puff Daddy, The Smiths, The Cure, Still to Come, What Oasis, Blur, Incredible. Two pairs of Jesus and Mary Chain tickets to give away. Really? And five pairs of wristbands for Embrace. Embrace wristbands? Yeah. What, is that just like a little sort of memento? You're an idiot, aren't you? Have I embarrassed myself? Yeah. What are they? They get you into the gig, don't they? Get it's like, it's like a ticket, but you can't forge it. You can't photocopy a ticket. Fast incredible. I mean, a wristband. Well, well you it's could. beautiful. Jervais, we're gabbling. Yeah. We're gabbling. Jervais, I've also got a great gag for you. Seems like we have a gag every week now. I've got a great gag for you. Plus, Gervais, I have come up with the perfect murder. Perfect murder, Gervais, later Excellent. on XFM. Brilliant. Uh, listening to your uh, your mum earlier on, Yeah. Uh, it's great. Old people are great. Yeah. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah. Um, but I was thinking, because she reminds me a lot of my, uh, my grandmother. Uh, yeah. my, my grandmother and my grandfather. I went to see them fairly recently. It was beautiful. And I go around there, and uh, my granddad says to my grandmother things like, you know, um, oh, uh, turn the heat in down, Joan, would you? Switch off the telly, Joan. Her name's not Joan. He's just lost it, I take it. Well, it, he, she, 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 he calls her Joan. Yeah. Um, but her name's Irene. You're joking. Yeah. You're joking. Her name's Irene. Oh no, well he really, oh well, sorry. He's, but he's not senile. What? It's not, it's, it's, see that's the thing is you think he's senile or something. No. It's not, right? He calls her, he calls her Joan, her name's Irene, right? I asked why, obviously. Uh, he said, um. He said, well Dave, I'll tell you. <laughs> no, it's actually true, he's not senile, right? He calls her, he calls her Joan, right? Because when they first met, yeah. he asked her, what's your name? And she went, Joan. Her name's Irene. She said, Joan. I said to her, why did you give him... The plot thickens. Why did you give him... Why did you give him a false name? She said, you can never be too sure. <laughs> you can never be too uh, careful. Uh, That's as much as she's told me. <laughs> Ridiculous. What did she think she was going to achieve by giving him a false name? She didn't tell him, right, that her real name was Irene until eight days before they got married. Incredible. That is fantastic. I don't... I mean... They're, they're West Country, aren't they? West Country. Right. They should have known that they're presumably cousins, weren't they? <laughs> Don't start your face. Okay, off, after the break, Jesus and Mary Chain, and those tickets to give away. Yeah. Except PJ Harvey and Victory on XFM 104.9. Before that, it was Black and Jesus and Mary Chain. Don't forget, I've got two pairs of tickets to give away for the Jesus and Mary Chain uh, gig on Saturday the 4th of July at the Royal Festival Hall. We've also got five pairs of wristbands for Embrace. Well, I'll tell you about that, Trevor. Yeah, let me do it. Oh, well, let me do something. Let me do something. You do it, Steve, then. You can take the mic, Gervais. Yeah. All right? At least I'm not scared of my mum. That's because she's your sister as well. <laughs> Gervais, this evening at the HMV on Oxford Street, yeah. all right, 
HMV Music Shop. Embrace the HMV there, Music Shop. <laughs> as opposed to the, <laughs> the, 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 the hardware sandwich, store. The sandwich yeah. counter. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Okay. Go on. Anyway, it's about 11 o'clock tonight. Yeah. Embrace are going to be there. They're going to be playing tracks. All right. It's, what what it, are they? It's well, well, they, it's not, it's they could have just been there. It's quite feasible. They were just there buying records oh, or so, something. So it's embraced that pop band. They're going to be doing some music. No, go, they could have been there buying records go or on, go calendars. So you're doing all right. Anything. Go on. It should be fairly straightforward. This all I've got to do is read out what it says here. Yeah. yeah. How hard can it be? No, it's easy. Go on. It's, these are, this is the kind of bread and butter of of um of of being a DJ. Yeah. And we can't even pull this off. No, I'm I'm fine. You try and read it. Go on. Anyway, Embrace are going to be there. I don't know the facts. Maybe they aren't going to be playing music. Oh. They might just be, I don't know, they could be doing pottery. Really? They could, they could, they could be bringing some, uh, some stuff that they've made, perhaps you pictures really, that they've drawn. You really have brought the level down. They, but they anyway, might, maybe there's some sort the of important point crochet is you've got, you've they've got to come here between 8 and 10 Shut up, tonight. let me finish. Go on then, have a go. Embrace, uh, there's something going on at HMV <laughs> later on, all right, in Oxford Street. It features Embrace there. It's do with their album or whatever. It starts about 11 o'clock, all right? We've got wristbands, five pairs of wristbands yeah. to give away, right? So you can get in there and see them do whatever the hell they're doing, Morris dancing or whatever the hell it is, all right? But the thing is, all right, we're going to do the competition in a minute to win these wristbands, okay? You this is slick. This is good radio. Super slick, Javis. Yeah. We've yeah. got the wristbands and everything, right? But the thing is, before you phone in for them, in a minute, when the competition's launched, in a minute, Right, not now. Yeah. <laughs> it's going well. Yeah. You've got to be able to come down here to XFM, all right, this evening between 8 and 10 to have the wristbands attached to you, all right? Do you understand? And if you're going with a guest, they have to come with you. I was moving on to that. Okay. It was just that I wanted to get on before July. Oh, really? I think that's enough for now. Yeah, I know. It's one, one thing oh, that, exhausted. I mean, we're rubbish, right? But the most important thing is... XFM 104.9. Say that on every eye that's so they know what they're listening to. So if someone just tuning into the radio and um, is, oh, what's this? I like this. XFM 104.9. Good. I'll listen tomorrow as well. It's, it's bread and butter. That is fundamental. Oh, yeah. You know, textbook. Laurie, that is textbook yeah. DJing. You know, XFM 104.9. Exactly. Um, which is what we do all the time. Um, Laurie, um, Halibut. Is it Halibut or Haddock? I don't know what The bloke who does the review show after us. I'm not sure he's comes in, he slags us off, he moans about the, the mess and everything. This was his first link last week. No reason for playing it, except someone else played it and I heard it and I thought that was good, so I'll play it too. Very good evening to you. It's Laurie Hallett with XFM's X rated review show on 104.7. Um, and I'll stop it there, Laurie. Uh, Ricky and Steve out of the building. They're yeah. gone. They're yeah. Uh, uh, 104.7. 104.7. Do you think he's moonlighting? He's a little bit embarrassed, <laughs> I'd imagine. Right now. Excellent, look. One four point seven. Yeah, that's what I thought you said. Excellent. And some people even like make, you know, some stations do like whole jingles, musical jingles, so it helps you remember it. Like um ninety five point three capital FM, so you can't forget it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. We should do that. Definitely. 104.9 XF, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just so simple. Yeah. 95.12 capital FM. Song for Bobby on XFM 104.9, just gone five o'clock. It's about time for a perfect murder. <laughs> Gervais, everybody knows somebody they want to kill. Yeah. All right? Everybody's thought about murder. I'll just say, we're not actually saying that's a good thing. Well, no. No, we're not advocating murder, but no. we're saying that it is something that crosses people's minds. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, if you are tempted to murder somebody, why at not? At least get it right. At least get it right, exactly. Yeah. Now, uh, Gervais, I'm sure you yourself have realised no. perhaps the reason you haven't committed murder yourself, <laughs> Yeah. this could be the reason you don't commit murder, is that you know, what am I going to do with the uh, the murder weapon? Yeah. That's the that's the stumbling block, you see. If there's a murder weapon, that c you can normally sort of trace, you know, trace the murder weapon back to the, the murderer. You see, yeah. the murder weapon's a problem. You've got to dispose of it, you know, whatever. See, now, I have come up with the perfect murder, Gervais, all right? It's simple. It's so simple. I can't believe other people haven't thought of it, right? What you do is, uh, is say you, the, the person you want to murder, right, lives in the, in the street opposite, all right? L lives in the house opposite, say, right? What you do is you, you rent a, a room opposite theirs, all right? You wait until one day their window is open, all right? And then what you do is you take a block of ice, Gervais, ice, all right? And you, <laughs> you fashion from it, an arrow, an ice arrow, all right, with a very sharp point, all yeah. right? Then you, you get yourself a bow, all yeah. right, and you fire that ice arrow, okay, across the street, through the window, into the heart of the person you want to murder, right? Killing right. them instantly, all right? Yeah. They stumble, they fall to the ground. Yeah. And then the, the ice arrow melts yeah. Gervais, murder weapon, it's gone. Gone yeah. into the thin air, the wet patch dries, all right? The police yeah. arrive, they can't find the murder weapon, safe. The, this bow, is this made of ice? The, well, the bow, the bow, see, that, all that is, is a bit of wooden string. Right. 
Uh, but it, that but could be anybody's bow. Nevertheless, it is a bow, isn't it? That could be anybody's bow. Yeah, but then if you bludgeon them just with a hammer, it could be anyone's hammer. Nevertheless, the fingerprints possibly will still be on the bow. But the ice arrow, it's just, it's melting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. So, what they'll do is they'll they're probably find you wandering around with a bow. Yeah. Look at this bloke that you didn't like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, they'll have motive because you presumably didn't like him. Mm, I didn't. Then there's the like, a little hole in his heart with some water. No, it's dried. It's dried out, the is it? The water's dried. Oh, right. see, that's why it makes it the perfect murder. Because right. the, the ice has melted and dried. Brilliant. Right. That is brilliant. Okay. Fant it's incredible. There's no, basically, there is, there's not one hole in that plan. No. So, do you have to conveniently find somewhere that, you know, has got a flat to let opposite him as well? <laughs> well, <laughs> that is the perfect murder. Right. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, presumably, you've only got one ice arrow. It's uh, just the one. Right. You need one. So, you? but you've been practicing, presumably, with like other arrows, sort of to get your shot just right. Just as he walks in front of the window, you can release this, this, Fatal arrow of ice. Are you are you mocking my plan? No, it's good. Are it's you good. mocking that? Um, this is mud, honey. We'll talk about this after. But nine, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, where do you make the um ice ar arrow? Well, you do. You can do that in your living room or your kitchen. So you get what do you what do you do? Do you have a mold or do you carve it out of a big I block think you of just ice? Chip away at a big block of ice and you get that from? Well, you just you, you can buy big blocks of ice, I expect. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'll be honest, I'm being a bit sarcastic. I think that it's the stupid idea. It would never work. You're an idiot. 0171 580 2000. Can we have some proper perfect murders, please? 0171 580 2000. Your perfect murders, or <laughs> they could fax us. The perfect fax. <laughs> yeah. 0171 580 1234. I think we should give away a pair of those embrace wristbands to the, the perfect murder. Yeah. The best perfect murder. Uh, I just went think? out of the fax machine and uh, there was there was no fax at all, but just a puddle of water by it. Suspicious. Yeah. After this break, Oasis. 104.9. <laughs> On XFM 104.9. I was listening to uh, Capital the other day. Oh, it's a fantastic station. Great station. It play, you know, it plays the hits from the uh, 70s, 80s and 90s. Well, it did actually play one. Um, oh, really? um, it reminds me of a story. Remember last um, week you were talking about you were bullied at school by Lionel Richie? It was a nightmare. I know, yeah, it was a big bloke. And uh, I was bizarrely bullied by Hanson. Odd. They're, uh, <laughs> strange. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, there's another, there was, I went to school with another um, mega pop star. You didn't? Yeah, yeah, What yeah. are the odds of that? I know. It's amazing. Um, but I, he wasn't, I didn't get into fights with him, he did bully, bully me, but I found in retrospect, he was nicking all my ideas. I can't believe it. Yeah. Who was it? Um, it was Paul Simon. Well, Simon, he's got a reputation. Oh, I'm no, not yeah. surprised. But I mean, um, I wrote this song when we were in music class and it was called Lots of Ways to Leave a Lover. Sounds familiar. Yeah, well, the one they played in the capital was 50 Ways to Leave a Lover. And I listened, I went, hold on. And it goes, um, you just slip out the back, Jack. Make a new plan, Stan. You don't need to be coy, right? He's rhyming a name with a way of leaving your lover, yeah, right? Yeah, Um And you'll, I'll show you mine, you'll see the similarity. You know, just hop on the bus, Gus. You don't need to discuss much. Just drop off the key, Lee, and set yourself free, okay. right? Yeah. Now, I, I had one like, um, run away, Jose. <laughs> right, clever, and, uh, clever. Tell her you'd like to end the relationship, Philip. <laughs> but I mean, you can see the pattern. And there was one I had um, explained she should find a man who really loves her and live with him. Tim. <laughs> right? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So he, he hasn't improved on it. No. Has he? He's, he's probably made it a little bit snappier. A bit snappier. I mean, my, my favourite one was um, just sit her down and say, look, I don't think you're my ideal life partner. And although we've had a good time, I really don't think we should marry Barry. <laughs> you know? <laughs> And he's all he's done. He's, he's he's you know put it in a pop format. Yeah, so and he's I, sold millions of copies. <laughs> so uh, I think I'm going to play him at his own game. Go on. Cut off your todger, Roger. Obviously, yeah. Um, cut off your knob, Bob. <laughs> cut off your dick, Rick. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, slice off your willy, Billy. Um, uh, cut off your John Thomas. John Thomas. <laughs> Yeah, that works. That works. I don't think one's like, get off with her mate, Nate. <laughs> mm. That'd do it. Yeah. Um, yeah. French kiss her dad, Brad. <laughs> nice, yeah. That might... Uh, uh, see someone else. Elsie. Elsie. 
<laughs> doesn't work, does it? Really work, but um, telling a gay you... Ray. <laughs> telling a gay Ray. Yeah, yeah. that might end it. Uh, I, I wasn't prepared to give Hank any advice. <laughs> Forget about Hank. This is Ian Campbell. Scott Four. Your kingdom to dust. Don't lie to me, Gervais. Is that who it was? Yeah, it's well, Scott Four. Thank God for that. Yeah. Gervais, I'm a little bit concerned because we've had an awful big response to our perfect murder appeal. Yeah. Um, you know, normally we, we say things like, phone in if you want money for free. Yeah. And nobody phones in. No. You mentioned murder. The, the lines start, you know, red hot. It's, I think it's the, the, the type of uh, listener that we attract. Yeah, well, it worries me slightly. Uh, it's odd, we've had two, which are exactly the same suggestion. Uh, Darren from... Uh, oh, that is suspicious. Uh, well, exactly. Darren from Carshelton, if that's a real place, I have no idea, and Sarah in Bickley have both come up with the idea of uh, buying a leg of lamb, all right, uh, freezing it. I like it already. Rock. Yeah. Well, it's got lamb involved. It's got to yeah. be exciting. I think, well, I think Darren was pork and uh, Sarah was lamb. You know, well, that's fair enough. Something uh, in that, there? <laughs> it's got to be something. Anyway, yeah, you freeze your leg of lamb or your leg of pork. You, uh, you club over, you know, you use it as a club, basically. Beat someone to death with it. Yeah. And then, of course, you sort of cook up your leg of lamb or pork and serve it to <laughs> investigating police officers. You see, rather cheekily. Um, and of course, you know, evidence of the murder weapon has disappeared. I like, I, well, yeah, but then there'd be like, um, bones and stuff and evidence of cooking. What I do is then surgically put it back on the sheep. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Slightly more ambitious, that one. I know, but it, these days, well, you know. Yeah. All right, we've got another one here. Um, keeping with the ice theme, the, remember my ice idea? Yeah. The perfect it's murder. A great idea, yeah. Well, the perfect murder would in fact be to freeze the feet of the victim, all right, by placing him in water. The ice, uh, having a lower gravity than the water would keep the victim's feet at the top and the head below water level. That I'm bored. Would he be in on this then? I'm I presume this person wants to be murdered and therefore would allow you to put his feet in a fridge for I'm not sure how 42 that one minutes. I'm not sure how that one works, Act. but but if, anyway, it ends up with him appearing to have drowned, which, brilliant. I mean, I, you know, I admire that. It's a little bit too technical for me. And all he's got to show for it is cold feet. Particularly ambitious one from Greg in Harrow. Yeah. All right, he suggests, Gervais, that you invite the person that you want to murder, all right, uh, on a little sort of outing, okay? You go out on a very hot day, you take a stroll in Regent's Park, all right? You suggest to the person that perhaps you sunbathe for a while, okay? They yeah. strip off. You say, uh, shall I just cover you in, uh, in sort of suntan lotion? Yeah. They say, fair enough. You yeah. wait for them to fall asleep. Then you sprinkle crushed biscuits over their body. Yeah. And wait for squirrels to attack and sort of bite and nibble them to death. A little bit ambitious. Well, this would be the, um, the well-known biscuit and flesh-eating squirrel of old Regent's Park. <laughs> exactly. So like, I've had the biscuit, <laughs> I may as well keep going. There's a lovely little layer of, um, ombre solaire there as well. <laughs> it's like a, like a little human trifle. <laughs> It's perfect. Yeah. It's a three-course meal oh, for, any, for any um, vampire squirrel. <laughs> that's brilliant, that is, yeah. Well, actually, I still like that. I still like Greg's suggestion. It's so a great I'm gonna, suggestion. I'm going to give Greg a pair of these these uh, embrace wristbands, if he'd like yeah. them. Now, uh, he needs they to... They say the proof of the uh, killing is in the eating. Um, I'd like to see this proved possible first. Then we can give him a pair of embrace. So if, if you find right, a body to, and some fat squirrels with blood <laughs> dripping and some crumbs on their <laughs> coats... Then, uh, you can have them. Go on and give them to him. Yeah. Uh, so, Greg, you need to come down between 8 and 10 this evening if you want these tickets. Bring along a friend if you want, uh, and he'll, and what's his name here, will attach some wristbands to you. They have to be sort of surgically attached to you, apparently. Yeah. Um, anyway, perhaps give us another ring and, and what's his name can explain it all to you. But anyway, you're well done, Greg. Um, and well, we've, got, really. we've got four more pairs to give away. Have we? And I've, um, it's not as complicated as that. Right. It's the first four people to phone up and say, I'll come. 0171 580. 2000. And they've got to say... Oh, I'll, 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 yeah, I'll, I'll come along. 0171-5802-2000. Good luck. <laughs> um, <laughs> they um, Well, um, you've got a joke to tell yeah, us, haven't you? Gervais, uh, it seems like every week now we, we get a little gag in. Yeah. A little, yeah, it's great, isn't it? It's so sort of capital-like. Don't you think it's very pinkish? Yeah. <laughs> What's going on with that? <laughs> is, that a, is that a verb? <laughs> to pink? Yeah. To be pink? Yeah. If only his name was Pank, oh. I'd have, I could finish my <laughs> song off. Right, go on. <laughs> Steve Pank. <laughs> Leave it, come on. Uh, Gervais, you might have heard it before. Go on. Heard it last night from some fella. Yeah. Why are London buses red? Go on. You'd be red if you had to come every ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Uh, it's great. It's not bad, is it? No, it's good. It's a simple little joke. I like it. Eh? Oh. XFM 104.9. Gervais, 
this evening. Embrace are playing at Oxford Street, uh, HMV in Oxford Street. All right, we've already given away the five pairs of uh, bracelets, which will get you into the gig. All right, and the winner is Gervais, Greg Robinson, all right, for his man-eating squirrel murder idea. Yeah. Uh, also, Stephen Turton, uh, Dave Newman, Simon Greenwood, and uh, Tiru Thirulengam. I can't pronounce the surname. Anyway, listen to me very carefully. What you need to do is you need to come down here to XFM, which is uh, situated at 97 Charlotte Street, just off Tottenham Court Road, all right? Look in your A to Z, 97 Charlotte Street. Come down here between 8 o'clock and 10 o'clock this evening, and Nick, who's here, he'll, um, he'll attach the bracelets to you. If you're bringing somebody along, all right, you need to bring them with you as well. He'll attach the bracelets, and then you can walk to a HMV in Oxford Street from here. That'd be beautiful. Wonderful evening. You'll see Embrace, all right? The staples come out, don't they? Afterwards? Yes, that's right. Yeah. We've also got two pairs of tickets to Jesus and Mary Chain. Jesus and Mary Chain tickets to give away. It's well, too exciting. Um, I've got a letter here from uh, Tracy Mahoney. Lovely. Um, Ricky and Steve, mm. I love you. Ricky's got the best voice, sense of humour, and taste in music. And the thing I really like about Steve is, well, um, I respect him for what he is. So, two sets of Jesus and Mary Chain tickets up for grabs. 0171 580 2000. What is he? Simple as that. What? What am I? Yeah. This this mocking has got to stop. Do you think? This is actually for um Tracy. This is Swade, and we are the pigs. This has got to stop. So, at least I'm not scared of my mum. <laughs> XFM one hundred four point nine. Gervais, you've got two pairs of tickets to give away. All right, to see the Jesus and Mary chain. Yeah. And your question was what? What are you? What are you? Yeah. Meaning, what am I? Yeah. All right, we've had a response, I'll Good. be honest with you. Um, yeah. Not all positive. <laughs> no, no, it's a shame, um, isn't it? Adam in Ealing, Steve is a lonely man. <laughs> <laughs> Tom in Maida Vale, Steve is an alien sex fiend. Um, Steve is married to his sister. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, the blood tests have not proven anything. <laughs> Gervais. Um, Although you've got very similar gills. Uh, uh, Steve is a murdering squirrel. From uh, Dan in Camden. Yeah. Steve is king of the insects. King of the insects! That's yeah. true, we all know that. Yeah. Um, Steve is a love machine. He made that one up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, pick a couple of winners then. Uh, I think the best two. What are your favourite, the, the favourite ones? Steve is Jesus. I'm not having that. Uh, from Fru in Holloway Road. Yeah. And, uh, Steve is a Gabby Git from David in West. Well, that wins. Obviously that wins. So he wins one. Do you want to give the one to I Steve? I like Jesus. Go on okay, then. That's, that's one or one it then because you've got a lot of bit positive and then... Uh, a little bit negative. Yeah. Beautiful. Nice response there. Uh, um, is that almost it? It is a little bit. Pretty much it, isn't it? You know what I mean? Um, Ten two. Yeah. What else? Anything else? Any other loose ends, Gervais? Um, Gervais? Uh, oh yeah. Wayne makes death. I don't see. What? <laughs> Sorry, what? Wayne can make you death. <laughs> oh, clever. Oh, not yeah. Clever. Clever.